friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Hello everybody, I hope you're having a good day already. We have lots and lots of fun things to do today. We're going to start talking about something brand new today. And I'm going to start by showing you something that's in the packet that your family probably picked up for you from school. So in your packet, there is some papers that are connected by a staple and they have the letter G on it, the letter G. Because the, one of the new things we're gonna talk about is this letter. And we're gonna make a book and I'm going to show you how to put the book together and then you can practice saying words that start with the letter G. So the first thing you're going to do, there was a staple in the corner and you need to take that out. I already did that. So now all the papers can be loose. But you'll have to cut the papers in two or ask a grown-up at your house to do that. So that's what I'm going to do first. You can do the papers one at a time or I'm just going to cut right up the middle, just like this. And I'm gonna cut all the papers into two pieces, just like that. So now you have two packs of paper. So what we're gonna do is organize them. So the first page says, my first alphabet reader, and it's for the letter G. And one of the main sounds the letter G makes sounds like this, G, G. Can you say that with me? G. G makes a G. This is big G, little G. They both say G. So if you look at the cover, there's a picture of a guitar, G, G, guitar, that starts with the letter G. So you can color the guitar. Here's a picture of something else that starts with the letter G, G, game. So you can color that. You can use all sorts of crayons to make this track here look very colorful. It looks like it would be a fun game. Oh, and there's a guitar on the back of this page too. The next picture, oh, it's on the back of this one. G, G, gumball, G. I think that will be a lot of fun to color too because there's a lot of circles in here that would be all different colors of gumballs. So when you read the book, it'll look like this. Guitar, game, g -g gumball. Now next could come, let's see, we've got um, g -g garbage. So I'm going to add that, okay? I've got g, g, girl. And this one, it's something we give to each other. Sometimes on birthdays, maybe at Christmas time, a g, g, gift. So I'm going to add those pages. Oh, <laughs> it's a g, g, ghost but not a scary one. That ghost looks pretty happy. And then the last page shows all the letters or all the words that you just learned start with the letter G. Guitar, <coughs> oh, excuse me. G, guitar, ghost, um, girl, g game, gumball, gift, and garbage. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So we'll put that at the back. And then you'll need a stapler at your house. If you staple up in the corner, then it will open up just like a book and you'll have a letter G book. So that'll be a lot of fun to have. All right. So that's your first homework assignment. So see if you can work on that this weekend. Oh, yes, Lump House, I hear you. 
I know, you love to come out and visit the kids. He does want to come out and see you. Okay. Oh, he's got something in his hand today. Little mouse, what do you have in your hand? Oh, he wants to show you. It's a cookie, but a very special kind of cookie. What is this cookie called, little mouse? Oh, he says it begins with the letter G. But boys and girls, the thing, the word that goes with this cookie doesn't have the G sound of the letter G, like guitar. It has a different sound that that letter can also make. It sounds like this, J, J, J. So it's a little different because this is a gingerbread man. J, J, gingerbread man. So that letter G is tricky. It can make two different sounds. <laughs> Look, little mouse wanted a little bite of that gingerbread cookie right now. I have a story to read you actually about j, j, gingerbread cookies. And it's a story maybe you've heard before, but it's one of my favorites and also one of Little Mouse's favorites. He loves this story and it's called, maybe by now you figured it out, the j gingerbread man. So Little Mouse, you have a seat and Mrs. Foose will get the book out of the gingerbread man. There are a lot of stories about the gingerbread man. And this particular one that we are going to hear today is written by this author. Her name is Beatrice Rodriguez. So we'll be reading more than one story about the gingerbread man, but this is the first one we're gonna read. So let me get ready to show you about the Gingerbread Man by Beatrice Rodriguez. Now, as you can see, there's a little old man and a little old woman. We'll take a look at what she's doing. All right. Once upon a time, a little old woman and a little old man lived in a cottage. One day, the little old woman made a gingerbread man, just like the one little mouse was eating. She gave him currants for eyes and cherries for buttons, and she put him in the oven to bake. Currants are a little bit like raisins, if you've never heard that word before. The little old woman and the little old man were very hungry and wanted to eat the gingerbread man. As soon as he was baked, the little old woman opened the oven door. The gingerbread man jumped out of the cookie tin and ran out of the open window shouting, Don't eat me! Oh, and as you can see, there they go. The little old woman and the little old man ran after the gingerbread man. Stop, stop, they yelled. The gingerbread man did not look back. He ran on saying, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Here he goes. Down the lane he sped when he came to a pig. Stop, stop, I would like to eat you, shouted the pig. The gingerbread man was too fast. He ran on saying, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. A little farther on, he met a cow. Stop, stop, little man, called the hungry cow. I want to eat you. Again, 
the gingerbread man was too fast. He sped on down the road saying, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The cow began to chase the gingerbread man along with the pig and the little old woman. But the gingerbread man was too fast for them. So there he is, and there is everybody chasing him. It was not long before the gingerbread man came to a horse. Stop, stop, shouted the horse. I want to eat you, little man. But the gingerbread man did not stop. He said, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The horse joined in the chase. The gingerbread man laughed and laughed until he came to a river. Oh no, he cried, they will catch me. How can I cross the river? Everybody's still searching. A sly fox came out from behind a tree. I can help you cross the river, said the fox. Jump onto my tail and I will swim across. You won't eat me, will you, said the gingerbread man. Of course not, said the fox. I just want to help. Do you trust the fox, boys and girls? There they go. The gingerbread man climbed onto the fox's tail. Soon the gingerbread man began to get wet. Climb onto my back, said the fox. So the gingerbread man did. As he swam, the fox said, you are too heavy. I am tired. Jump onto my nose. So the gingerbread man did as he was told. Oh boy, do you think that was a good idea? Oh, there's everyone else. No sooner had they reached the other side than the fox tossed the gingerbread man up in the air. He opened his mouth and snap. That was the end of the gingerbread man. And that's the end of my story. So the fox ate the gingerbread man, but I guess he was a gingerbread cookie and that's what cookies are for, to eat. They're always so delicious. All right, I think we maybe need to take a little break to move a little bit. Now, last week or the week before, we talked a little bit about words that are opposites. Do you remember words that are very, very different? And so Little Mouse and I thought we would play a different opposite song and we can move around, and get a little exercise at the same time. So here comes another opposite song. Ready? We can do opposites, opposites, opposites. We can do opposites. Follow me. Oops. Top and bottom. Top and bottom. Top and bottom. Give a little clap. Front and back. Front and back. Front and back. And give a little clap. Happy and sad. Happy and sad. Happy and sad. Give a little clap. Left and right, left and right, left and right, and give a little clap. 
Loud and soft, loud and soft, and give a little clap. Open and shut, open and shut, open and shut, and give a little clap. Stand and sit, stand and sit, stand and sit, and give a little clap. Oh, well, that was our little break. Did it feel good to move around a little bit? Some of those opposite words. Little Mouse and I had almost a little trouble keeping up with this song. We'll have to try it again some other time because practice helps you get better at something, right? That's very true. All right, let's think of the story that we just heard and see if we can remember the order that the things happened in. So little mouse, I want you to listen now. And we're gonna think about this story of the gingerbread man and what happened first, second, third, and so on. So let's see, first of all, in the story, what happened was what? The little old woman did what? So she made a gingerbread cookie. What did you do with your cookie, little mouse? You must have eaten it. I was going to show the boys and girls. All right. So, um, so first of all, she made the cookie. So that was the first thing. Okay. Now we're going to use a song to see if we can remember the animals that were chasing after the gingerbread man. So the song goes like this. The gingerbread man ran through the town, through the town, through the town. The gingerbread man ran through the town saying, catch me if you can. Okay, now think what was the first animal that he ran away from? Well, let's take a look. Is the book? Do you remember? Let's see. The first animal was a pig. P -p pig. Do you know what letter that starts with? P, -p, -p, P. So we'll say he ran away from a p -p pig. P -p pig. P -p pig. He ran away from a pa pa pig, saying, catch me if you can. Okay, let's take a look. What was the second animal? Did you remember that it was a cow? There it is. He ran away from a k, -k cow, k, k cow, k, k cow. He ran away from a k -k cow, saying, catch me if you can. And k -k, that stands for the letter C. So, so far, he ran away from a pig and a cow. And do you remember the next animal was a what? That's right, a horse. And horse goes like this. And that's the letter H. He ran away from a horse, horse, horse. He ran away from a horse saying, catch me if you can. All right. Now those were the animals he ran away from. So the gingerbread man was made by the woman the pig, the cow, and the horse chased him. And now there's one more part to the story. Do you remember what animal? I bet you do. It was the fox. F -f -f fox. That starts with the letter F. Then he came to a f -f -f fox. F -f -f fox. F -f -f fox. 
The fox by the tree said, you can trust me. Then he ate him up. <laughs> so we were able to use a song. And remember, he did eat him up. We were able to use a song to help us remember how the story went. So that's kind of a fun way. So I do have another little story I can tell you with gingerbread men, but this time I'm going to use different colors. And it goes like this. Okay, I got to get them all together here because there's more than one. Five little gingerbread men jumping on the bed. One runs away and he is red. Four little gingerbread men eating jello. He runs away and he is yellow. Three little gingerbread men acting mean. One runs away and he is green. Two little gingerbread men about to fall down. One runs away and he is brown. One little gingerbread man looking at you. He runs away and he is blue. Now there are no gingerbread men. So get out your pans and start cooking again. Boys and girls, before I sing goodbye, I'm going to show you a couple more sheets that you can work on at home. So, so someone in your family could help you get these out of your packet. This is a picture of a gingerbread man. And up in the corner, it tells you the colors you should be using. If you look closely, there's numbers. So if you see a number one, you're going to color, let's see, you're gonna use the color green. So the first thing you'll have to do, let me show you. Here, I'll use the book to help me. The first thing you're gonna do is color the crayon in green so that you know that the number one always means green. And then the number two will mean brown. So there you go, you can color anything that has a number two in the gingerbread man will be brown. Number three is red. So anything with a number three in the picture will be red. And the last, oh, two more colors. Number four is blue. And number five is yellow. So when you look at the gingerbread man, what, let's say, let's look at his hat. Okay, do you see the number four there? So what color would you color that part of the hat? Number four is blue. So you would take your blue crayon and color the hat blue. Okay, the whole hat would be blue. So I'm not quite done coloring it, but I'm just trying to give you the idea. So that's one thing you can do at home this weekend. And let's look at the other side. The other side shows another gingerbread man, and it's the same idea. On this, on this side, there's only three. So number one is brown, and what you can do is just color the, the word brown so you can remember number one is brown, number two is green, so right there, and then number three is red. So then you'll color this gingerbread man too. So when I see you next time, hopefully you will have made your G book and practice coloring the gingerbread man. And on Monday, when I see you again, we'll talk some more about the gingerbread man and read a different story. I hope you have a good weekend. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends.
Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you soon.